I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and this is your Look Today 411. Well, in our lead story, Elise Stefanik will have three lines on the November general election ballot in the 21st Congressional District. Matt Doheny had secured the independence line over the summer, but decided not to campaign after he lost the Republican primary in June. Stefanik picked up the independence line after Matt Doheny secured a Conservative Party nomination for a judgeship in Brooklyn. Now, the rules state that a candidate cannot run for two separate offices. While the Independence Party is pleased to support Stefanik, Democrats are seeing red and there's no pun intended. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is taking shots at Stefanik by calling her a political operative making a backroom deal. After the primary, many Republicans had been concerned that Doheny remaining on the ballot may split the vote. Democratic nominee Aaron Wolf will be a guest on Beyond the Headlines in early October, and we are working with the Elise Stefanik campaign to set a date to her, for her to be on the show as well. We'll keep you updated on this and other election stories as they happen. In other news, the Warren County EDC held a planning and zoning forum at Fort William Henry in Lake George. This is the second year the forum has been held by the EDC. The informative sessions cover a wide variety of topics for planning, zoning, and municipal officials. Topics uh, this year included shoreline development, sustainable economies, and the impact of the Jefferson Project. Look today, caught up with Warren County EDC President Ed Bartholomew, who discussed the project. The uh, cold uh, winter uh, had had a major impact on reducing invasive species by, by any means. Uh, it's, a, it's a long battle. That's why the, this project is going to allow for uh, investigation and mapping of the entire lake from the surface right down to the bottom of the lake. Well, Bartholomew also shared his thoughts on another big topic in Warren County, the Glens Falls Civic Center. I, I think that uh, the Common Council, the mayor, are doing their due diligence. Uh, I, I think uh, it should not be rushed, but I, I think that there should be an expedited uh, review uh, so that uh, we can get on to the uh, winter and, and start mapping out the plan to keep the Civic Center alive. There still is no word on when a decision will be made regarding the Civic Center. Also in the news, an assault at the Paddock Lounge in Saratoga over the weekend turned fatal yesterday afternoon. The victim, Aaron Huggins of Saratoga Springs, died at Saratoga Hospital. Police say that Huggins and Jeffrey Mann of Wilton bumped into each other, exchanged a few words, then Huggins walked away. Mann grabbed him by the neck and slammed his head into the floor. Now, police originally charged Mann with second degree assault. An investigation into the matter is ongoing. The Saratoga County DA's office is awaiting autopsy results before making any further charges. Now, anyone who has additional information is asked to call the Saratoga Police. Their number is 584-1800. Join me here each and every night for the stories that matter to you.